Lesson 5.1b, Using Long Division. This problem is 125, that's the dividend, divided by 5, that's the divisor. 125 divided by 5 means how many 5s are in 125? We start by asking ourselves if the 5 can fit into this 1. And no, it can't. So we're not putting an answer above the 1. Can 5 fit into 12? Yes, 2 times. And 5 times 2 is 10. So we subtract 10 from this 12. We get a 2. And it's this 5's turn to come down. Now we ask ourselves how many times 5 can fit into 25. Well, 5 times 5 is 25. We put a 5 above the 5 we drop down. We subtract 5 times 5 is 25, and we get a 0 for a remainder. And we can check this. We do the quotient times the divisor, and if it equals the dividend, we know we did it correctly. 5 fits into 125 25 times. Now, if you're very confused about long division, we are going to go through it step by step in this lesson, but you can also watch the 5th grade math video 2.6 because last year in 5th grade, chapter 2, we did this stuff. And that's linked in the description of this video. In the first part of this lesson, 5.1a, we did this problem and we estimated what we thought the quotient would be. The students of a school sold 30,381 candy bars for a fundraiser. There are 247 students. If each student sold the same number of candy bars, how many did each student sell? We figured we could round 30,381 to 30,000, and we can round 247 to 250, and we came up with about 120 candy bars for each student. So now we're going to do it to get an exact answer, and we can turn a sheet of lined paper sideways to help us keep our place values in order. So we have our long division problem written. Here's our dividend, 30,381. We're going to see how many times 247 can fit into the dividend. We look at the first digit, and we think, well, 247 can't fit into 3, so we're not putting anything above that 3. And 247 can't fit into 30, so we're not going to put anything here either. But 247 can fit into 303. It can fit into 303 one time. And 247 times 1 is 247. We write that below the 303, and now we subtract. We can't do 3 take away 7, so we can rename this as a 2 and a 9 and give a 10 to the 1's place. Now we have 13 minus 7, which is 6, 9 minus 4, which is 5, and 2 minus 2. We have nothing there. And now it's the 8's turn to come down. Now we have 568. And we ask ourselves, how many times can 247 fit into 568? We can do a little multiplication on the side. If we do it times 2, 2 times 7 is 14, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 more is 9, 2 times 2 is 4. That's 494. And I don't think we can fit another 247 into it, because then it'll be too much. If we do 247 times 3, that might be too big, too much. 3 times 7 is 21, 3 times 4 is 12, 13, 14, 3 times 2 is 6, and 1 more is 7. Yeah, that's 741. That's too much. So we're going to have to go with the 2. So that's going to be the next part of our quotient, and it's going to go above the 8 that we dropped down. Now we know that 247 times 2 is 494. We can subtract that. 8 minus 4 is 4. We can't have 6 and take 9 away, so that's going to become a 4. That's going to become a 16. That's going to be a 7. 
And now it's the one's turn to come down. So now we have 741. And we need to find how many times 247 can fit into 741. And look, we just did the multiplication on the side. We know it's 3. We know 247 times 3 is 741. So we put a 3 here. And we subtract that 741. And we get a 0 for a remainder. So we know the quotient is 123. Now, if you remember, our estimate was 120. That's very close to 123, so our answer is reasonable. But we can check it with multiplication. We multiply the divisor times the quotient, the divisor times the quotient, and if it equals the dividend, then we know we did it correctly. And I multiplied them, and yes, it came out exactly the same amount as the dividend. We know we did the division correctly. Let's try it again. Here we have 5,461 divided by 127. We ask ourselves, can 127 fit into 5? Nope, so we're not putting the answer here. Can 127 fit into 54? Nope, so we're not putting the answer here either. Can 127 fit into 546? Yes. How many times? Well, let's figure it out. What if we had three of them? 127 times 3. 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 2 is 6. 7, 8. 3 times 1 is 3. Oh, that's only 381. I think we can get another 127 in there. If we try 127 times 4... 4 times 7 is 28, 4 times 2 is 8, 9, 10, 4 times 1 is 4, plus 1 more is 5, 508. And you know what? I don't think we're going to fit another 127 in there to fit to be 546. So I'm going to go with 4, and that's going to go above the 6 because we put it into the 546. And now we know 127 times 4 is 508, and that's what we're going to take away. We can't have 6 and take 8 away, so we're going to turn that into a 3. Make that a 16, so now we've got an 8. And 3 minus 0 is 3, and that's nothing. And now it's this 1's turn to come down. Now we ask ourselves how many times 127 fits into 381, and lucky us, we have that multiplication on the side. We know it's 3 times. 127 times 3 is 381. So now we can subtract that 381. We get a 0 for a remainder. We know it's 43. And we can use multiplication to check it. We multiply the divisor times the quotient, and if it equals the dividend, we know it di we did it correctly. 3 times 7 is 21. 3 times 2 is 6, 7, 8. 3 times 1 is 3. Now, we get rid of our regroupings, and we do the tens place. 4 times 7 is 28. We regroup the 2, put the 8 down. 4 times 2 is 8, 9, 10. Regroup the 1, and 4, and 1 is 5. Now, we add these. We get a 1, a 16, a 4, and a 5. And look, 5,461, that was our dividend. We know we did our division correctly. Let's try one last example as a word problem. It says Dave has 1,152 cookies. If he puts... 24 cookies per box, how many boxes of cookies will he make? We think we need to split 1,152, so there's 24 in each group, 24 in each box. We're going to do 1,152 divided by 24, and that's going to equal the number of boxes he can make. For long division, we write 1,152 inside the division symbol and the 24 divisor on the outside. 
We ask ourselves, how many times 24 can fit into 1? It doesn't, so there's no answer there. Can it fit into 11? Nope. Can it fit into 115? Yes. We can do a little multiplication on the side or estimate, and we can see that 5 times would be too many because that would be 120. We only have 115. But if we do 4 times, then that would be 96. So we subtract the 96, and we get 19, and then it's the 2's turn to come down. Now we have to see how many times 24 can fit into 192. And I did a little multiplication on the side. We know 5 is not enough. That's only 120. We can fit more 24's into that. 6 is 144, 7 was 168, and 24 times 8 is 192. So we know that we can put an 8 here, and 24 times 8 is 192. We subtract, get a zero remainder. We know that Dave can make 48 boxes of cookies, and we can check it with multiplication. We multiply the divisor 24 by 48, the quotient. We do 8 times 4 is 32, and 8 times 2 is 16, 17, 18, 19. Now we do the tens. We get rid of our regrouping. We've got 4 times 4 is 16. Regroup the 1. We'll put our answer here because we're doing the tens. And 4 times 2 is 8, 9. We add these, and if it equals this dividend, then we know we did it correctly. We have a 2, 9 and 6 is 15, 9, 10, 11, look at that, 1,152, that's our dividend, we know we did it correctly. So now we finished this lesson, we're going to move on to the last part of 5.1. 5.1c, and we're going to be dividing with the remainder. Now, we did learn this in fifth grade math, chapter two. So, I'm going to have videos linked in this description to help you remember, and you can go back and review those fifth grade math videos very quickly. They're not very long. Don't ever feel bad about having to review something from a previous grade because we can't remember everything, especially if we haven't done it for a while. I want you to have a wonderful day. I want you to keep trying your best, and I'll see you next time. Bye.